6,000 exoplanets. So because we're all tired of living here, we're looking for more options. And it looks like we may have found a few, although we still don't know how many of them are Earth-like, do we? No, well, the, 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 the anniversary, just to be clear, is 6,000 exoplanets around sun-like stars. So it's, you know, over the last 30 years, it's, 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 uh, we've racked up quite the tally. And, uh, and if, if you ever are wondering, like, what are the planets that we've found, uh, it is, uh, you can go over to the NASA's Exoplanet Archive over at the Caltech. It'll take eons to get there. But at least we will eventually try to get the answer if we're alone out here or not. Now, there are some missions on the horizon that are supposed to really supercharge that. The James Webb Space Telescope, most powerful t telescope right now uh, in space, really, uh, you know, supercharging a lot of what we can find out there. That's finding uh, things like baby planets in the act of forming, which is pretty cool. But there's even uh, larger space telescopes planned, things like uh, the Habitable Worlds Observatory, which is on NASA's plan to build this massive uh, space telescope bigger uh, than Hubble that will be able to look at and get actual direct photos of these planets is the hope uh, for things like that. The terrestrial planet finder, another, another goal to find rocky planets, uh, to really find that other planet, that other Earth where we might want to send a probe. It'll take eons to get there, but at least we will eventually try to get the answer if we're alone out here or not.